What's up guys, I'm Cynical Bob, and these are the top 10 movies to watch while committing blatant tax fraud. Believe me, I would know. First, I'll explain a little bit about this list. These first few films are for when you're first really getting into tax fraud, and you don't really know how to do it well, so, you know, it'll take longer, so you're gonna want a longer film, so you can pay more attention to tax fraud rather than film, so because of that, these first few are gonna be kinda like, longer, slower films. Um, so, you know, because you're going to need to pay more attention to the tax fraud rather than the actual film you're watching in the background. But as we go through this list, the films are kind of going to start to get shorter and, like, quicker and more fun in general because, you know, you it's a learning process. You would be better at the tax fraud, but and so you can pay less attention to it so you could watch more of your film. So, with that being said, let's get into this list. Coming in at number 10, we have Seven Samurai, directed by Akira Kurosawa. This is the only foreign film on this list, but not only that, it might be the best film on this list. Not only that, it's one of the best films of all time. Not only that, it's one of the best things of all time. You see, this is one of those movies like Lawrence of Arabia or Citizen Kane, where you're basically born knowing that it's a masterpiece. Have you seen it? Probably not. But, you know, you know it's really good. So, what makes this such a good film to watch while committing tax fraud? Um, well, there it is right there. Two hours and seven minutes, the runtime. It's about three and a half hours. This is, without a doubt, the longest film on this list. Um, and it's also very slow, and really takes a while to get going, but, um, yeah, not only is it slow, it's long, and it's one of the best films of all time. So coming in at number 9, we have The Godfather, directed by Francis Ford Coppola, another one of the best films of all time. But, I'm gonna be honest, I have not seen this film, but, um, yeah. So again, like, like Seven Samurai, it's one that you just know is really good. So, it's about three hours long. It's a little bit um, uh, shorter than Seven Samurai, but, you know, that's okay, because, you know, you've been watching Seven Samurai while committing tax fraud, so you, you're a little bit better at it now. Um, but yeah, this is another classic. Uh, here's the disc. And so yeah, it's another really long film, so perfect to watch while committing tax fraud. Coming in at number 8, we have Dune, directed by Denis Villeneuve. This is another very long film. It's about 2 hours and 40 minutes, but the key difference to this film, different than the other two films we've covered so far, is that this film is very loud. The others have been kind of quiet, but this one is filmed with... Various booming sounds and, like, other just big noises, you know. Um, so yeah. If, cause, you know, you've kind of gotten better at tax fraud, it doesn't need to be so quiet, so you can, like, fully focus all the time. You can have a bit of a louder film. Coming in at number seven is Paris, Texas, directed by Wim Wenders. Um, this is another fairly long film, a bit shorter than Dune, at about two and a half hours. Um... It's more quiet than Dune, which, um, you know, it's okay, because, you know, quiet's still good. Um, but yeah, this is another really great film, and it's also pretty slow and, um, long as well. So, you know, these are just really two great films to watch while committing tax fraud. Alright, number seven is Spotlight, directed by Tom McCarthy. Um, this film is about two hours long, so... A, a bit shorter than the other ones, but, um, you know, what I really love about this film, other than, it, you know, it's really good to commit tax fraud to, is that you can really just watch this with the whole family. So, you know, get together with, like, all your loved ones and watch the Spotlight. It won't at all be uncomfortable based on what's in this movie. No, it's just such a fun time at the movies. Um, yeah, you should also watch this movie in, uh, like, um, church or something. You know, I think that will go over really well. Number five is My Neighbor Totoro, directed by Hyao Miyazaki. 
Um, this is a lot shorter than the other films on this list so far. It's only about 80 minutes long. Um, but, you know, at this point, the IRS, they would probably be, um, pretty suspicious of you. So, and this film is, uh, very quiet. Um, so, you know, you can really focus more on, you know, really getting the IRS off your tail. So, you know, you can go back to committing tax fraud to, you know, louder movies. So, you know, just so they don't catch you. Now, this film, much uh, like a Spotlight, um, you can watch with the whole family, um, you know, much like Spotlight. Alright, number four is Stuart Little, directed by Rob Minkoff. Um, you know, at this point, the um, IRS, they've kind of been suspicious of you, but you've managed to trick them into thinking that, you know, you're innocent, actually, but... You know, in reality, you're still committing massive tax fraud. So, uh, now you can really just kind of unwind and relax and watch, you know, like, a childhood classic of yours. Well, it doesn't have to be, uh, this film in particular. It could be really just any, um, big childhood classic of yours. Um, so, yeah, that's why Stuart Little or any other, um, big, like, film in from your childhood would be, uh, really good to watch while committing, uh, blatant tax fraud. Alright, number three, we have The Social Network, directed by David Fincher. What was that? Oh, God, they found me. Alright, guys, so, uh, number two is, uh, Captain Underpants, the first epic movie, uh, because it's... It's a good movie to watch while you're hiding in your basement from the IRS. Alright, number one is Wally, because it was the only movie you were able to grab before you had to run away from the IRS. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, drink water, follow my letterbox. Bye.